Hello, in this tutorial we are going to talk about detail estimate. Now there are four types of detail estimate. One is called as item rate estimate and supplementary estimate, revised estimate and repair and maintenance estimate. Okay, so let's look about all of these estimate one by one. Uh, first one over here is item rate estimate. Now it is the accurate estimate prepared by working out quantities of each item of the work. So in this type of estimate, we have to take each item separately, okay? Let's suppose if we want to just prepare an estimate for the excavation, we have to just find out the total volume of this excavation, okay? Let's suppose here we have this excavation, length of this excavation, breadth of this excavation, and the depth of this excavation. Now, Next, uh, by multiplying length, breadth, and the depth, uh, we'll find out the total volume of this excavation. And next, we need to just uh, prepare abstract of quantities, this form, okay? A detail of measurement form, and we need to just put all of the dimensions on this form, okay? So, here we have just this form as first column here is serial number. Then, the next one over here is a description of item, okay? Detail then we need to just put the dimensions say for example right now it is excavation it could be any work it could be brick work it could be pcc work it could be rcc work okay so then we need to just give here length breadth and the depth okay and then we need to just find out the total quantity over here okay so if we get if we have any remarks we can just add over here now here you can see in this case let's put this excavation work we need to just find out total volume of this excavation okay in this form we need to just give here item number one or serial number one okay then we need to just give here a description excavation in foundation then we need to just give here length of the excavation breadth of the excavation and depth of the excavation it could be in meter it could be in feet okay and then at last we need to just find out the total quantity okay that's why it is called as item rate estimate in which we have to just create an estimate for each item okay next we need to just go with the pcc okay then we need to just go with the rcc okay in the foundation okay then we need to just uh, go for column next like this okay so on so after finding the quantity total quantity of that particular item next we need to just create one more sheet that is called as abstract of cost okay so in abstract of cost uh, the first column over here is item number okay let's suppose it is excavation then pcc rcc okay then we have particulars okay detail regarding that uh, particular item okay then we need to just give here a quantity that we have already find out over here okay in this form this measurement form or detail of measurement form okay so we need to just put here a total quantity then we need to just uh, put here a unit for that particular item uh, right now it is excavation work so we need to just give here a volume okay or cubic meter it could be in cubic feet okay so quantity then unit then we need to just give here a unit rate okay so this unit rate you can just find out the schedule of rate from the government department as i have already explained and next at last we can find out the cost of that particular item that is why this is called as unit rate okay so uh, you can see over here we have total amount as 2625 dollar let's suppose the total quantity for excavation over here is 75 cubic meter okay and the unit of uh, the excavation is cubic meter we know and a uh, unit rate is 35 so we will multiply quantity multiply by unit rate okay so this is all about this estimate in which we have to just uh, find out the estimate for each item in next tutorial we will learn how we can create uh, these abstract of quantity sheet in excel okay and this abstract of cost in excel okay this is very important now the next estimate over here is a revised estimate now revised estimate is prepared when original sanctioned estimate original estimate is likely to exceed then five percent okay more than five percent so if uh, our original estimate is going to exceed uh, more than five percent we have to create what revised estimate if there is a now the next condition is if there is change of rate or quantity of material uh, we have to create what revised estimate now due to one of uh, one or more reason stated above over here okay uh, revised estimates is prepared and resubmitted to 
competent authority okay uh, for fresh technical sanction it is necessary to mention the reason for variation uh, for variation in proposal okay so this is why we have to just create this revised estimate uh, and these are two conditions when we create revised estimate now next estimate is called a supplementary estimate okay and supplementary estimate is prepared when additional work or change are required to supplement the original work okay during the execution of the work then a fresh detail estimate of uh, additional work is prepared in addition to the original estimate okay let me just give you the example over here let's suppose uh, we have just uh, this plan in which we have bird okay two beds room and we have one toilet over here and during execution of the work our client want to just add here kitchen as well now in this regard first we have created this original estimate item rate estimate okay next uh, during execution of work we have just additional work over here as kitchen okay so we need to just find out the estimate for this one as well to resubmit it okay for sanction so this is all about the supplementary estimate next estimate is called as repair and maintenance estimate so as name suggest this is maintenance estimate or repair estimate of a building or it could be road project or it could be any project okay so this is all about the detail estimate in which we have different kind of estimate okay uh, this detail estimate is for technical sanction remember it okay and we have item rate estimate i have already explained it supplementary revised estimate and repair and maintenance estimate so hope you really understand this session we'll see you in the next